uh, okay welcome back to the e managerial website uh, i'm uh, professor san uh, today i wish to share with you uh, this is a uh, uh, sdlc security governance so i i will uh, de describe in detail what is a security requirement and what is a, a, a mitigation uh, activity during deployment the uh, software development lifecycle project so from a requirement perspective design development testing and uh, deployment so uh, on the cycle of the uh, software development lifecycle so we, we will a straightforward discussion on the security requirement, what is a, a, a risk or threat uh, modeling, and what is a control activity uh, on, the uh, on a particular uh, phase during the deployment or during the uh, project uh, kit off. Okay, uh, we, we, uh, we will go, to go through one by one. Uh, I come up with the uh, 12, the 12 uh, component that involve with the security governance and control activity. So the number one is a uh, uh, strategy and metric. This is uh, the high level perspective that uh, PM or project manager need to access and identify the range, how application uh, add the risk and how application can involve with the risk uh, related matter and what is a control activity uh, to ensure that all stakes are adhered by the developer team. So the next is uh, implement a software assurance program and build a roadmap for the further improvement. This is uh, the, the control uh, uh, assurance that put uh, a lot of effort and mechanism to ensure that the, the QA of the software are comply with the standard requirement and also build uh, the appropriate uh, roadmap and uh, timeline for the improvement on the security aspect. And the next is uh, promote understanding of program, meaning that the PM need to engage the, the developer team to understand what is a uh, requirement, to understand what is a security uh, control and understand what is a uh, in the nature of the project, understand what is the core objective of the project, understand what is the business rule or business logic. So whatever involved with the uh, principle of understanding of the SDLC, so the PM project manager need to uh, uh, engage and motivate the team to understand the, the full scale of the project concern. So the number two is uh, policy and compliance. This is a uh, 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 requirement based on the, uh, the control activity. So the PM need to research, identify the software and data compliance requirement. What is a, a data integrity? What is a data classification that required by a regulator or required by the internal uh, regulation, such as a policy, procedure, and SOP, standard operating system. So this is uh, the the, the high-level approach that the PM need to reinforce the team to comply up on the policy requirement. So the, the next is a create guideline on how to meet the mandatory compliance requirement. So this is a, the, 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 the absolute uh, requirement that the PM need to uh, reinforce and monitor what is uh, activity going on and execution by the developer team to ensure that the, the activity and and dress and are comply with the uh, com and comply with the, the rule and uh, requirement so the next is uh, ensure the guideline is used by project team this is uh, just uh, uh, the uh, assurance uh, control to ensure that the uh, guideline and procedure uh, are fully uh, uh, practice and fulfilled by the project team. So the next is a uh, review project again the compliance requirement. So this is uh, the activity that uh, that should be done by IT as well as or IT compliance to ensure that the uh, the compliance activity uh, are fulfilled and adhered by the project team. 
and also uh, need to conduct the uh, review uh, and update the requirement and guideline as a regular basis to ensure the compliance is up to date and fit the purpose. So the the next is uh, education and guideline. This is a, a capacity building and a need to fulfill the competency gap from the project team to ensure they are fully aware and comply with the technical uh, security awareness uh, concern on the on a on a respective function, and also create a technology specific uh, best practice secure uh, development guideline and also brief the existing staff and new starter by the guideline and also how to uh, uh, practice on the on the uh, guidance that uh, and that that uh, involved with the control requirement and also undertake the qualitative uh, testing or the security uh, guidance knowledge this is uh, uh, involvement with the control assurance on uh, on the security guideline and adherence so the, the next is a, a threat assessment uh, the, the uh, examine and document the likely uh, threat to the organization and take application time uh, to ensure that uh, they can address and they can uh, 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 identify what is a, a possibility of occurring from threat or from vulnerability uh, that can impact to the uh, project and also build a threat model so the reassessor uh, need to uh, map up with the reprofile uh, to identify what is the latest threat and what is a chance that that fraudster malicious user can be compromised into the the cycle or implementation on the SDRC framework. So the last one is uh, de uh, develop the attacker profile or philosophy that define their type or motivation. This is uh, the PM requirement that need to identify what a philosophy of uh, system compromise from the insider uh, insider attack. So the number five is a security requirement. So the PM need to engage IT security team uh, to set up the security uh, standard or framework to ensure that the all state of the SDRC project are uh, fulfilled and comply strictly on the security requirement so such as a review project and uh, specify the security uh, security requirement based on their uh, functionality and and the scope of the uh, of the work so uh, pm need to also analyze and apply and best practice security guideline document uh, to derive the additional requirement so this is uh, just a comprehensive activity that the PM need to analyze more on the compliance and best practice to ensure the, the security uh, 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 area need to be uh, tightened and strengthened. The last one is uh, ensure the requirements are specific, measurable and reasonable. This is uh, the, uh, uh, we can say the facility study on the project requirement that the concern on the security loophole after the project uh, rolled out. So the number six is a uh, secure architecture. This is a, a system design uh, a state that the PM need to create and maintain a list of recommendation or recommended uh, software framework and also incorporate with the security uh, framework to ensure that service and other software components are uh, fulfilled and adhered by the project team and also develop a list of uh, guiding security principles like uh, uh, we can say the uh, root based principle on the security appliance as a checklist again a detailed design or architect of the system and PM also the distribute and promote and apply the design principle to the new project on ongoing project so the, the next is a design review. This is a, the, the, uh, this is this is a, the UT that uh, PM need to uh, uh, take lead uh, to identify uh, the entry point in the software design such as uh, attack surface 
all different uh, uh, parameter and also analyze the software design again the known security risk so whatever involved with the, the mechanism of the uh, software design they need to understand what is a uh, major concern in the in the future of the strength of the of the risk that can, that can uh, uh, expose to the loophole or flaw of the system so the the number eight is a code review this is a, a QA activity that performed by IT Assurance uh, to create the establishment process to review the coding and checklist based on the common problem and uh, 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 state modeling that identified by the uh, reassessor. So the next is to uh, encourage the use of the checklist by a uh, project team. They need to ensure that the, the control activity that required by the, the organization so they need to understand clearly about the requirement of the security appliance among the project team. The next is a review selected high risk code more uh, formally. So this is a uh, involvement with the, what is a concern code structure that involved with the high risk and uh, and map into the query indicator. Uh, let the project team aware and fulfill the requirement. Also involved with the consider uh, utilizing automated code analysis tool for some check. This is uh, involved with the uh, automated control that uh, require the technical tool or application uh, to verify the uh, automated uh, coding that the development team uh, need to be uh, uh, take lead and uh, deploy as uh, their BAU business end user. So the number nine is a uh, security testing. This is uh, the area that they need to be uh, uh, penetrate and and testing to identify the existing loophole or to identify what is uh, existing control that the uh, that the PM need to uh, present the management that we are qualified or uh, in the acceptance level or uh, on the comfort level on the security. Uh, activity that uh, need to aware by the management and also perform the application penetration test before an each major release. This is uh, related to the major change or major release or before deployment into the production system. So the PM need to engage the IT security team to conduct the, uh, we can say the uh, great box testing or penetration test that uh, uh, can be engaged the uh, uh, rhythm exercise uh, to assess all the state of the SDSC project before we make the major change or emergency change. This is also concerned on the security testing. So the next is a review, test result and correct or formally accept the risk of releasing with the fall check. This is a uh, involvement with the uh, the correct control on the security uh, testing failure from the uh, uh, testing unit and they may uh, get advice from the IT governance team or data governance team to ensure that they can aware of the corrective activity after the testing uh, performance uh, they have the experience with, with the uh, testing failure this is uh, also the, the checkpoint approach that the PM need to be emphasized. So the number 10 is availability management. This is uh, the risk management activity that the PM need to understand what is availability on the project, what is availability of the state in the SDRC framework, what is a, a system development uh, deployment, design, testing, and uh, and uh, deployment. So they need to understand on the individual uh, uh, phase and step for all activity that done by the project team, uh, such as uh, define uh, an application security point of the contact for a project, create a formal security response team, also develop uh, an uh, initial incident response process. This is the, the way that we can respond back to the crisis or to the outage when the, the system uh, deploy into the production and they have a lot of back or a lot of error. 
so they they may uh, have the the incident response procedure in case of the uh, uh, deployment error or outage so the 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 eleven point is uh, environmental uh, or environment uh, hardening is involvement with the uh, infrastructure or or system that uh, that the software uh, development activity need to need to understand the independent uh, connect connectivity or independent system that involved with the application hosting and uh, uh, data uh, transmission uh, from the client to the server so the pm need to need to create and maintain a specific question for application host environment and also monitor the success for the information about sec uh, security update and patch for all software supporting within the application and the last one is the implement process to test and apply critical security fit uh, this is uh, involvement with the how can we address uh, that involvement or a related matter uh, among the SDRC uh, activity so the last one is uh, operational uh, involvement involvement the uh, 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 that the PM need to ensure that the daily performance by the project team or developer team need to record all activity involved with the uh, software specific knowledge that affect to the deploy application security and also inform the operator or developer or the user as appropriate or the, this understandable and actionable information and also provide a guideline on handling aspect security related alert and error condition. This is uh, just a BAU activity that uh, PM need to enable and need to engage what is involvement with the stakeholder, operator, developer or business user to understand what is the requirement of the system involvement. So this is a uh, the the key initiative involved with the how can we secure the SDRC uh, 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 governance activity uh, based on the the best practice requirement. So uh, thank you so much for watching my video. Please like and share.